Hey guys, we're given a truncated code and asked to develop it starting from 1 to 1 dash. We can develop a right angled cone radially and we'll only require one true length line to take measurements from. I start here by discretizing the circular base of the cone into 12 equal segments, each separated by 30 degrees. I do so by using a protractor. Next, I fill in the vertex by extending both edges to the cone's center line. I then label all discretized segments from 1 to 12 and project these up to the base of the front view. From the front view, points are extended from the base to the vertex. Next, I fill in the missing detail from the front view onto the top view. I should have done this at the very beginning. Next, I project across the vertex to start the development in line with the front view. I can measure off the radial length of the cone using the true length line, which in this case is from V to 1 or from V to 7, as this edge of the cone is not distorted in dimension when we view it from the front view. Now I use my compass to draw the outer dimension of the cone Using the equation on the screen, we can calculate the angular length of the radial line development. In this case, it's 248 degrees. If we want to make the drawing symmetrical, we can then subtract 248 by 180 and divide this by 2. We get the answer of approximately 34 degrees. This angle of 34 degrees is measured from the horizontal line. And then the whole cone is drawn in. I then measure the truncated region by using the true length line. Because it is a constant radius, I can draw in the truncated region using my compass in one step. In the next video, we'll see how we would use the discretizations to help us draw a non-constant truncation as is shown on the screen.